above 1.8 which is prerequisite for installation of j meter so here you can see i have given step by step installation steps of java so first of all we will start installation of java on our system so before starting the installation we need to check whether java is already present in the system or not so the first step for checking is to open command prompt and then type command as a java so i will just show you how to open command prompt on your system okay and i am typing the command as java so what output i have got is java is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or a batch file it means that java is not installed in my system so what will be the next step is i need to install java on my system okay so here you can see the next step is to open google.com on that side we have to type the command as install java version 8 so now i am opening google.com on my google chrome google.com and here i am searching install java 8 so i will get number of uh, urls out of that you have to select the url which consists of www.oracle.com means on that site you will get the setup of java that is a exe file of java okay because now java is owned by oracle so for that purpose all the setups you will get here depending on your operating system like you can see for the linux operating system these are some of the downloaded downloadable files are given similarly for solaris for mac os for windows Uh, the files are given for the java version so here as my system consists of windows 64 bit so i am downloading this version of java so click on that download so here it is asking me for uh, i received and accept the oracle technology network license agreement for oracle java se or not so here you have to tick on the check box and then download java so here it will ask you for a sign in here you have to register with your personal mail id i have already created my account on the oracle site so that's why i am opening through my login id if i don't have an account i have to i need to create the account which i have already created so now i am signing in once i will do the signing in in the java file exe file will automatically started downloading you can see here my file has started downloading so it will take uh, the time de uh, depending on your uh, network capacity or the bandwidth okay so now my file has started to download so now uh, i will open into the folder once it will get download and then i will start the installation of my file okay now you can see here in my download folders uh, my java exe file for the windows 64 bit is uh, completely downloaded now double click on that uh, file of exe now it is asking for do you want to allow this app to make changes in your device so you have to click on yes okay okay now it is asking for this wizard will guide you through the installation process of jdk 8 because my setup is of version 8 so for that purpose uh, this particular window is coming so you have to click on next after clicking on next the next window will come for the installation now uh, 
uh, it is uh, showing that it is preparing to install. Uh, do not click on cancel, otherwise your setup will automatically get cancelled. So let it take its own time for installation because your software must be installed properly on your system. Then only you can do the uh, next level or next programming in the system. Okay, now it is asking for the next window that is if you want to select only some of the product from the Java or you want to install a complete setup. So if you if you want to install a complete setup, then do not click on any of the option over here like development tools, source code or the public GRA because it will give the sub options. Okay, and then where you want to install your file. Okay, this will give mm -hmm. the automatic uh, setup. So here you can see the automatic uh, version or you can say uh, automatic uh, folder where my Java file will get installed. That is given. If I want to change that, I can change by using this particular change option. But I don't want to change. That's why I'm clicking on the next button. Now it has started its installation. For JMeter, it will take a less time as compared to Java to install because JMeter you do not have to install on the system. You have to just only download and extract the file. Now it is again asking for the destination folder. So here it is coming as a C type program file Java in my system. So I don't want to change. If I want to change, I can click on change button. So that's why I'm clicking on the next button. Okay. Here, actual installation has started. Okay, now the next window that is Java IC development kit has successfully installed. Okay, so now the Java version 8 has been installed on my system. So that's why now I'm clicking on the close. Okay, so in this way you have to install Java on the system. Now, what is, the, what is my next step is once my setup has completely or successfully installed on the system, I need to again check whether Java is installed properly on my system or not. So again, the same step, which we have done at the start that you have to follow, let it check whether Java is installed on your system or not. So for that purpose, again, I'm opening my command prompt. Okay, on the command prompt, I'm typing as a Java. So you can see here, previously I got a message like uh, the uh, Java is not installed. So now my, all the Java files you can see on your command prompt. It means that the Java is successfully installed on my system. 
okay so in this way uh, this is how you are going to install java on your system sometimes whenever you are checking on the command prompt it will show uh, the error message so for at that time you need to do this step okay in your case if you will give the same message that java is not installed so here you have to save the environmental variable now how to set this environmental variable means here you have to set the path of your pin file of the java so open here edit system environment okay variables edit system environment variable you have to open it then here environment variable click on environment variable then in this environment variable you have to click on path then edit okay now here what you have to do which path you have to copy is i will just show you go to your c drive c drive in that program files okay c drive program files in that java then you will get these two files which have installed in your system first in jdk and another in jre file in jdk file you will find out all this uh, data in that you have to click on bin file and copy this path okay copy this path of bin file and then here add a new path paste that path here and then click on okay okay and then okay so in this way you have to set an environmental variables for the java this is how you are going to install java on your system okay so i hope all of all of you must uh, be able to understand the installation steps of java now the next steps how to install that is the next step how to install jmeter on your system again here you have to open google.com then search install jmeter okay then you will find a site as apache.org because jmeter is owned by this apache.org okay so in case of jmeter what you have to do you don't have to install any software as like we have installed in the java you just have to download this jmeter setup and extract the files from the zip folder of a jmeter okay and then copy that particular downloaded file on the desktop okay and extract a zip folder so i will show you first how to find the setup of jmeter i am opening google.com and i am typing here install sorry install jmeter okay so here you can see this is the site of jmeter apache.org as i told you click on that site this is the site of apache.org okay here you will find two setups okay first is binary and source out of that you have to open the second one file that is apache jmeter zip file okay so now i am downloading so this file has started downloading on my system it may take two, uh, one or two minutes for downloading you can see here once my file get downloaded i will go to the download folder and i will extract the zip file from the download folder so it hardly taken around 2 1 minute because my internet speed is good 
so uh, you must check that whether your internet speed and the bandwidth is high now it has got completely downloaded so it is open in the downloads you can see so now i'm opening this uh, folder uh, first you have to copy this folder to the desktop okay so now i am copying this folder on my desktop here then meanwhile it is down uh, copying uh, i just want to show you what is the next step okay so the next step is once you have extracted the zip folder and you have copied pasted that zip folder on the desktop go to the bin and then open jmeter.bash file so this is how your installation of jmeter is completed so on that bash file we have to do the next processing that i will show you in the next video we will first check whether our file has copied on desktop or not okay now my file is copied on the desktop so now i am opening that apache jmeter folder in that as i told you open this bean folder and in that bean folder you have to search for a batch file jmeter batch file okay so here you will find out a batch file See here, this is the Windows JMeter batch file which I am opening. So now this file is opening. Press any key to continue. Okay, so in this way, you have to install Java first and then JMeter on your system. So what will be the basics of this JMeter that I will tell you in the next video. So thank you for watching this video.